What's up everyone? Coach David here, Mr. Defined Trainee. So let's get straight into it. How many times have you ever had a coach or you yourself said, man, I gotta strengthen my core and then the first thing you go and do is some type of sit up, some type of crunch, some type of leg raise, all right? You're not working your entire core like that. You're emphasizing your actual abs. Training abs is not the same thing as training your core. Yes, your abs are a muscle in your core, but it's not in it itself the core your core is this entire region right here think about it our entire body got bones to support our body your rib cage doesn't go all the way down to your hips your rich caves if you can feel them like me it's only right here from right here to right here there's not as many bones the only thing you got is your spine back here this entire region makes up your core your lower back your sides your front all right, it's all muscles, not as much bones as the rest of the body, so that's why it needs to be strengthened. You never hear, or you don't hear as often someone say, and I need to strengthen my abs. You never hear athletes say that. You Most of the time we'll hear them say, and I gotta strengthen up my core, because this entire region. If you just work your rectus abdominis, which is the main muscle, the, the main six pack muscles that we all think of, that's just focusing on this. Think of it as a house, all right? Your body's a temple, all right? A temple has four walls, what happens if you only strengthen up or build up one wall stronger than the others? The house is gonna collapse. Same thing for your core. You only build up one side, man, you're gonna run into problems. The sides are still gonna be weak. The back side are still gonna be weak. It's just, it's just, no. Something's waiting to happen. So what's the best way to fix this? Focus on exercises that work everything. It could be exercises that work all at the same time, or it can be individualized exercises for certain regions. What I'm trying to get at here is don't neglect the other sides of your core. Stop focusing only on the front, focus on the sides, focus on the lower back. Now, what are some examples? For the front, that one should be pretty obvious. Any type of crunching motion, think about our rectus dominus, our abs, they allow for spinal flexion. Basically, the muscle that allows us to round our back right here. That's why a crunch and a sit up and a leg raise are so effective for training that that's what it does that's pretty common that most likely will get overused let's focus on the sides you don't you don't see it as often what do the sides allow us to do well it allows us to laterally flex our spine so moving side to side like this and for some rotation work so what are some good exercises for that well we got some Russian twists we got some side bends or you can combine the two movements which is my personal favorite so for example we'll go into some type of wood chop because the wood chop i'm rotating one way but when i come back down boom i'm rotating and i'm laterally flexing at the same time you can do it with the weight and you have to hold it up or you can grab a cable and you're the one pulling it down me personally i prefer grabbing the cable and pulling it down and letting the stretch go up all right that's going to be working the sides now the back uh, whole purpose of this bottom part right here lower back is to keep ourselves from rounding all right so especially in our lower back if I'm rounding like this this muscle right here you do have muscle in your lower back believe it or not got to keep it straight so what muscles do that you got back extensions you got deadlifts you know deadlifts you're more holding in an isometric position but that's for a different conversation uh, you got bird dogs you know there's so many different exercises you can do some exercises that combine all four sides planks Bird dogs to a certain degree, dead bugs, and there's so many things you can do to work the entire core region. There's even other muscles such as your psoas, which is your hip flexors that are also involved in the core. Bottom line is work all four sides. Don't just focus on this. Training abs is not training your core. Abs are a part of your core, but not in itself the entire core. All right, you gotta work those obliques. The erector spinae so as all these little muscles in there you gotta work them all evenly all right think of it like a house i'm gonna say it again the house has four walls what happens if one wall is stronger than the rest well buddy it's gonna collapse same thing with you you got one side that's stronger than the rest and you're just waiting for an injury you're just waiting for something to blow please listen to this video do some research about proper core exercises think about what the actual functions of all these muscles are and use exercises that will address and go through the range of motion that that muscle was intended to go through. With that being said, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you all next time.